Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Necromage Vampire. And um, a little change of plans here before we go on the Black Book run. Um, what I was planning to do immediately after the Black Book run was go on a power smithing run. I decided it actually makes more sense to swap these two. Do the power smithing run now and then do the Black Run. Black Book Run after when we have better daggers. And um, before we do all that, I would like to make some power potions so that we have some more merchandise to sell. And I've come to realize that I'm just a little short of Death Bell. We have a lot of garlic and we have a lot of salt pile. What we don't have is Death Bell. We can easily collect a whole bunch of Death Bell by visiting all the, um, the alchemy shops that we're friends with and even make friends with another alchemy shop. So let's do that right now. Let's go make friends with Angeline's Aromatics in Solitude. Do a little um, step and fetch it for her. Get some information about her missing daughter and then we'll be friends with the shop. You'll be able to collect seven death bell at her shop, including some soul gems. Here's Angeline's aromatics. And as you can see, all the ingredients here are marked as steel. Everything is steel, steel, steel. There's some death bell right there. There's seven death bell in here, plus a whole bunch of soul gems. We're gonna need some more empty soul gems for the black book run. Let's find Angeline, talk to her. Uh, you're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Indeed I have, yes. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Okay, listen, we can talk to him for you. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Done and done. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Okay, be quiet as we're exiting the shop. I don't want to drag you out. And then find this shop locked afterwards, which is a pain. Okay, Captain Aldous. I saw that slag, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Captain Aldous is up here in the courtyard. He's right there. And... Scroll down to the bottom. Captain Angela has sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. Now you need speech at 25 in order to win this persuasion check. This is easy. We're way over 25, so let's just click here. I think Angela needs to know. Persuade, I, persuade. I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Okay, can't do. You lily livered panty waist, couldn't tell her yourself. Okay, we'll do it for you. All right, back to Angeline. She won't reward you, but everything, most everything in her shop will now be free once you tell her the, uh, the bad news. It's good news. to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? Yeah, listen, I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Um, well, there's no easy way to say this. Your brothers are dead. What, Slack? <laughs> That's from Saving Private Ryan. Oh, wait a minute, I got the wrong line here. Um, Angela, um, your daughter is dead. <laughs> I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Done and done. And now if you check this stuff, you see this death bell previously was marked as steel. It, it can now be taken. So now you can take all the stuff in your shop. So just loot everything. 
um, if you don't feel like looting everything, take the death bell. Okay, there's six death bell in here and the soul gems. Okay, there's a quite a few free empty soul gems. And there's the seventh death bell downstairs. If you're looking for the seventh one, it's down here. Right, boom, here on this table. All right, so just collect all that. And um, if you want to steal some stuff, go ahead. I won't say. I won't tell on you. And I'll see you on the flip side. Boom. All right, so. Got all your goodies? As you can see, her shop is looking pretty bare. There's some garlic here, too, to be had. And yeah. Vivian, so I looted everything. Check out supply. Watch this, she was talking when I exited, so. Oh, didn't drag her out. Okay, um, next. White Run. We already did a favor for Arcadia. By delivering the frost salts from Ferengar way back when. So go to White Run. I'm just doing this for demonstrational purposes to show you exactly where Arcadia's shop is. For those who aren't familiar with Skyrim. Okay, it's right here. Um, it's open. I think that this is going to show all the ingredients is gone because of some kind of Skyrim glitch. Yeah. But once again, there's seven death bell in here. So just loot everything that's not nailed down and even some stuff that is nailed down. And that should bring your death bell count up to 21. All right, next. Go to the Hag's Cure in Markarth. We are friends with her because we delivered that special <coughs> potion for the steward. What's this? This poor soul here. Okay, let's just grab this stuff here. That's from the Forsworn Breakout. Yeah, Hag's Cure. In we go. We did her a favor, so all the stuff, most of the stuff in her shop is also free. And there's th three death bell in here. But just take everything, including the Frost Miriam. All right. And some more garlic and frost miriam here. Death bell there, etc. Let's grab everything that's nailed down and even some stuff that's not nailed down. And I'll see you on the flip side. Back at the College of Winterhold. I've yanked out all my death bell. Came to 24 altogether. And the same number of garlic and the same number of salt pile. And um, we managed to collect some frost miriam in our travels. So I've got some more for this power potion here. Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Flower, and Wheat, five of each. And while we're in the process of making potions, we're going to need between 15 to 20 invisibility potions um, for the Black Book run. And we're running a little short. We've only got nine. You can make invisibility potions with coarse eggs and either Ice Wraith Teeth or Vampire Dust. And we're running a little short on those too, but we can get some more. There's some ice wraith teeth. And there's some vampire dust. You can just go across the way to the Hall of Attainment and get some more. And if that doesn't work for you, um, I'll show you you can get some more. And by the way, if you're still running short of Death Bell, simply go to Morthal. Go to Morthal, and there's tons of Death Bell all around Morthal just growing. They're those big purple plants, you can't miss them. And let's go across the way to the Hall of Entainment. This is our official room here, and everything in here is respawn. There's some void salts and some vampire dust and two ice ray teeth there. I might as well grab all these two. And that free soul gem, and we're good. Okay, so now we can crank up the potions. Number one, a big batch of power potions so that we have some merchandise to sell. And two, a batch of invisibility potions to re-up our supply of invisibility potions. Okay, let's do a quick save before every major crafting session. Let's check to make sure we got Muri's ring on. DB2, Blackguard's hood on, uh, very good. Okay, here we go. Death Bell, garlic, and salt pile. Try and get as many as you can. 
Now we've already used up our skill training purchase rights for this level, so we can safely level up this. If we just level up, that's good. And what else they say? Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Flower, and Wheat. And finally, some more invisibility potions. Chorus eggs and ice ray teeth, or chorus eggs and vampire dust. Now we have leveled up. Um, somebody pointed out something today, which I never knew. Something I've always wanted to do is access the le the magic screen when you've leveled up without actually leveling up. And just scroll down. It's not working, dude. There's nothing I can do here. Unless I misunderstood your instructions. Um, I did it while I hadn't leveled up. Let's just put some points into Magicka. See, this is what I did when I hadn't leveled up. Bring up the magic screen, and now I'm just pressing the down button, and then I come out of it. I think maybe that's what he meant. But nope, there doesn't appear to be anything you can do to get out of that screen once you've accessed it. So, sorry dude, gave it a try. Unless uh, you have something to add about your explanation. It didn't work for me. Okay, so next, um, we got the potions. Now, we're going to re-up our supply of empty soul gems. Same thing, when we go into Raven Rock Mine and do the Black Book Run, we're going to be up against a whole bunch of Draugr's, a lot on the high level. And we want to be capturing their souls too, as well. So, you want to do the same thing. You want to have between 20 and 25 empty petty soul gems, between 20 and 25 empty lesser soul gems, and between 20 and 25 empty common soul gems. So I'd say about 10 empty graders, although I doubt we'll be able to catch some graders, but just in case, uh, you won't need any grants. All right? And now that you have some merch to sell, some medium value merch to sell because you know all we had before was this like super high value water breathing potions which is it's overkill for buying empty soul gems okay so now we have some more reasonable merchandise to sell for buying empty soul gems so do that re-up your supply of empty soul gems visit all the merchants here in in the college of winter hold Ferelda and revis and and um Venice and Colette upstairs and um, get your empty soul jam count up to what I said, what I just explained, all right? And I'll see you on the flip side. Hey Slack, why are you making invisibility potions? Why don't you just use the invisibility spell? That's because the invisibility spell is not available yet. Our illusion, which is the school of magic that the invisibility spell comes under, is only at 52. The invisibility spell, I believe, is an expert illusion spell, and that will only become available for purchase when we hit illusion 75. Sometimes these spells come available maybe five levels five levels earlier, but no more. You have to be at least at level 70. You know, this chicken on Drevis. Is his spells and incantations for those Check with the books. talent to cast them. There you go. There's no invisibility. It's not available yet. We don't have we don't have high enough illusion yet. All right, so that's why. Next, um, like I said, we're going on a power smithing run. We're a little short. We have everything we need. We have enough dwarven metal ingots. We have enough iron ingots. Um, we're just a little short to make seventy dwarven bows. Um, we also have a ton of precious gems. What we're short on is silver and gold ingots. Now, we could go mining, <laughs> or we could go thieving. <laughs> thieving, thieving, yeah, let's go thieving. Um, for the gold, we'll go mining. We'll go to Cool Skegger Mine. But for the silver ingots, I got this beautiful little run worked out where we can just rip off between 30 and 40 silver ingots just by vis visiting various locations around Skyrim and 
doing a little five finger discount. And to help us along with the five finger discount, let's go visit the Tower Stone, which will allow us to open any expert lock once a day for free. So let's just do that. Tower Stone hooked up. And our little ripoff run starts in Dragon's Reach. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Here in Dragon's Reach, we're going to go all the way to the back, upstairs to the Jarl's personal quarters. Make sure we got lots of room. Yeah, we got lots of room. Okay, all the way to the back. This is basically the Jarl's bedroom right here. Okay, on the opposite side, watch out for the guard. Shut the door behind you. Is a box of silver ingots. Six of them. Let's quickly grab those. <laughs> good day, officer. Across the way in this room here, good day, officer, are two more silver ingots. One right here, boom, and one right here on the table. There you go. That's eight silver ingots right there. Next. Let's go to the Companions Headquarters. Now, even though we're members of the Companions, there are certain items that, you know, are off limits to us, including five silver ingots. We're just gonna, like, <coughs> borrow them. Juice happening here. In your Vasker, go downstairs to the basement. The strength of these core, and my brother has his Into the living quarters. Some people don't think I'm smart. Hang a right. Go all the way to the end here. Like Turn left here. If you recall, this is Ayala's room. If you're short on ice spray teeth, here's some right here you can steal. For it. Use those to make some more invisibility potions. Across from Ayala's room, in this room here, is three silver ingots. One, two, three. <laughs> Got those? Okay, let's get out of here before anybody notices. And go back upstairs. In the main hall, at the north end of the main hall. Alright, open this door. Shut it behind you so no one sees. Hunker down and grab yourself two more silver ingots. Here. Boya. Oh yeah. Okay, so silver ingot count up to 14 now. Finally. Just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Fast travel to White Run, even though we're in White Run. But just 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 put everybody um At the same starting point. Turn left. And this is Carletta Valentia's house. We go there all the time to pick up a skill book. Next one over is the house of Clan Battleborn. Let's just, uh, we won't use our tower bonus on this easy novice lock. Could be somebody here, so watch out. But we have high sneak. Okay, and in this room here, there's a silver ingot here. And let's use the tower power on that one. Two more silver ingots in here. And booyah. Silver ingot count up to 17. Let's get out of here. Next, Mark Karth. There is a ton of <clears throat> quote unquote free silver to be had there. 
Let's start by doing a quick save just in case Mr. Fumblefinger screws this up. And let's wait till business hours. Make sure that everybody's off to work. First stop, the treasury house. Head up here. Cross the stream. Over here to the treasury house. We've been here before. And before we go in, let's wait 24 hours to recharge our tower stone ability. Done and done. In we go. 24 hours later. Good day, miss. Looking quite lovely today. Don't mind if I look around. Go behind the receptionist to this gate here. Use your tower unlock skill, open that up, and make sure no one's looking and grab yourself one, two, three, four, five, six. Silver ingots there. Boya. And I believe there's some You're more here. Sneak. If you go to the up on anybody like that. I'm not creepy. <laughs> okay, if you go to the right here, in this room here. Hang on. Here, silver ore. I knew there was something in here. Grab that. There we go. Okay, and that's it. Very good. Next, Endin's house. If you turn left from the treasury house, the next one over should be Endin's house. Um, that's an adept lock. Once again, let's just wait 24 hours. Okay, make sure nobody's looking. In we go. Okay, we're looking for the table next to the fireplace. There's some silver ore there, and the box next to the fireplace. One, two, three, four silver ore, five silver ore there. And there's a box on top of this table here. One, two, three, four silver ingots there, and some more ore there. All right, got all that, let's get out of here. <laughs> Alright, done? Done. Upstairs to the third tier. Looking for Nepo's house. There's Nepo's house. Hey, it's open. How about that? In Nepo's house. In the bedroom. Need something? Uh, no, just looking around. You got a lovely oh, place no. here. Bedroom on the right side. Over in the corner here. Make sure nobody's looking. Let's just do a quick save just to make sure. One, two, three, three, four. Oop. Oh. Ingots there. Another ingot here. And there's a greater soul gem here. And I believe there's a death bell over here. I think I saw it something over here anyways. That's not on the that's not on the list. Okay, got all that? Let's get out of here. Silver ingot count up to 32. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was a little too far down. That was a close one. <laughs> Alright. I'm rushing things along a little too. This jump I can make, I know I've done this before. Here, and these guys are here. Let's just wait till after hours.
Close one. Uh, a nail? Okay, off you go. In the Legion, we were called useless. Look how brittle the man I am so. I just. And in this box here are a whole bunch of steel ingots, which we need as well. And. Two silver ingots. There we go. And that is our silver ingot heist. Let's go back to the, the College of Winterhold and count the spoils. <laughs> Actually, I meant to smelt up, uh, where did I go? Yeah, I meant to smelt up, uh, the ore that we got, so let's do that right now. Now... Back to the COW. And I believe we have a few loose silver ingots and ore there. Once again, this is to make jewelry when we do our power smithing run. We have tons of precious gems. What we're short on is gold ingots and silver ingots. Let's just see what we got in the kitty as far as silver ingots. We have two ingots and four ore. My bad, I should have brought that ore. Let's just go quickly back to White Run and smelt up that ore and then do a tally up the score. Just runs I was getting forty nine. Forty one. Oh, the solitude blacksmith. I forgot that. Yeah, those are easy. Just looking at my notes here. Um, let's wait till business hours because it's easier to rip them off during <laughs> business hours. <laughs> now this isn't an exhaustive silver ingot heist. I mean, there's more silver ingots to be had around Skyrim, but um, this is plenty for our purposes. Okay, so here we go in here. Silver ingot 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 and three more up those are steel let's grab those anyways let's just grab all the, the iron ingots too i think there's some more up there here we go there we go this and some more iron ingots here that's plenty for our bridges okay so now 46. Boom. That's plenty for our purposes. Let's get out of here. Yeah, between 45 and 50. Done and done. Next, we're going to go to Coal Skigger Mine. Special out there. Coal Skigger Mine has the most gold ore veins in all of Skyrim. We can walk out of there with 54. 54? There are few places where one can... Yeah, 54 gold that ore. That incident in Morthal was just a misunderstanding, no matter what the guards claim. For this, you're going to need your Staff of Storm Atronach. We're going to be dealing with some high-level Forsworn. This is going to be a real, uh, yeah. So make sure you bring along your Staff of Storm Atronach, especially for the the force form Briarheart at the end, he's going to be a pain. That coming along, plus your staff paralysis, which is getting a little low. Let's just recharge it right now. How's the staff of Storm Atronach doing? He's good. And let's stash the silver ingots. 
make some room for the gold. And we are ready to go. And that is coming up next video. Hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.